Kia ora team, coach Ray here. I'm a triathlon and marathon running coach who specializes in coaching beginner and recreational athletes to achieve their sporting as well as their health and fitness goals. Now I've got the brand new Garmin Phoenix 6S. It's arrived. I'm gonna take you through the unboxing of that. And my old one, Forerunner 935, is out, gone, goodbye. I'm upgrading and we're gonna move forward and I'm gonna take you through the unboxing and all the features of it. If you do want my old one, for the next 10 days, it'll be on sale on Trade Me for a $1 reserve, so get in, get it while it's cheap. All right, so let's open up the box and see what this comes with. There it is there. Standard packing, let's get rid of that. Nice cover. You can go there for now. Wonder if it's got any juice in it. Not sure if there's a cover on that or not. Try and power it up. There we go. Normal guff. And it looks like the charging cable in there. Let's get rid of all that out of the way. And let's go through the setup process. We want English, pair with phone, yes. Download Garmin map. Uh, sorry, Garmin connect. It's already downloaded, so hopefully it picks up on it, but possibly not whilst the video is being recorded. So open up the Garmin Connect app, and then down the bottom right, click on the More button. Scroll down until you find Garmin Devices. And then add device down the bottom. This should connect through to your watch. And that'll bring up a number on your watch and type that into the screen. And then the setup commences. Through here, you make a number of selections about some of the features you want to display on your watch and when you want to receive notifications, etc. And then the setup will just work through. Once everything is set up, it'll give you the um, options when moving through the next uh, to select the time you normally sleep and whether you want notifications during this period. I chose no and just kept the default. And it all synced up and clicked finish. And you've got a few more options to choose between and you are good to go. All done. All right, so that's all set up now. Um, it's taking me through some screens so you can set things up. If I just back out of that, it's showing the default setting or the default watch face. Um, gives me the opportunity to choose my settings. So I definitely want a trail run, I want run, don't do treadmills or virtual runs very often or indoor track. Hikes I do. Bikes I do, bikes indoor, usually on Zwift, mountain bike, pool swim, open water swim, triathlon. Let's chuck some strength in there. These are ones that it's going to display. Um, so those will be the primary ones that it displays, but you can still go into other ones Going back, if we go into the settings, it's five days of battery life left, but charge that up. Clocks, alarms, no alarms, no time to stop watch. Different time zones, let's back out. Show the weather app, that's pretty accurate for now. 
Sunset, etc. So these are all the different apps showing my VO2 max and my current 5K ability, which is probably more accurate than what this Garmin was saying. Um, let's just go in. Um, actually, wrong screens. So in here. There you go, it's predicting 20 minutes 50 compared to 23.18 uh, for the same VO2 max. So I see that as an improvement already. Training status, obviously I haven't used it, so it's not going to show up. Last activity was a 6K hike done the other day. No data and different notifications. Just like that. Now let's just go in. It should have all the user settings come across. User profile on a mail, correct details, left wrist. So that's all just transferred automatically straight in from a Garmin. Only thing I need to do is look at the different watch face options, see what I like. I do prefer an analog watch that's, um, I'm not sure what the bottom screen there is showing, but heart rate, stairs, sunset's always good. So these are all the default ones. Let's see which ones we can add. No, I need to just get them loaded up by the looks of it. Uh, to get something that's going to mirror what I've currently got on this one. Alright, so I've got the Phoenix 6S all good to go now. The Forerunner 935 is out the door. $1 reserve on Trade Me. Click the link down below for more information.